Hey guys, it's Medicosis Perfectionalis, where medicine makes perfect sense. Let's continue our biology playlist, and today we'll talk about an introduction to the cell cycle. So let's get started. We divide living organisms into prokaryotes and eukaryotes. Eukaryotes include bazillion things, including mammals, also known as mammalia. And they are subdivided to three categories. The first one is placentalia, the second one is the marsupialia, and the third one is the monotremata, meaning one whole, which sounds slightly inappropriate for a biology lecture. Let's talk about placentalia. The fetus is carried inside the uterus of its mother until a late stage of development. Example here is humans. Marsupialia. Early, the fetus is in the uterus. Late, the fetus is carried in this pouch called the marsupium. How about the monotremata? They have the one hole. The one hole here is that cloaca. If you do not know what the cloaca is, there is no hope for you. In one of my previous videos in this playlist called Biology MCAT, we have talked about the DNA, which is in the nucleus. As you know, the DNA is a double helix made of a sugar backbone, phosphate group, and a nitrogenous base. Also, we have talked about the nucleus before. The nucleus is the house of the DNA. If you take your human body, it has many systems. If you take one system, it has many organs. If you take one organ, it has many tissues. If you take one tissue, it has many cells. If you dissect one cell, you will find a nucleus. If you go deeper into the nucleus, you will find about 46 chromosomes if you, if you are talking about a somatic cell. Each chromosome has segments. These segments are called genes. Each gene is, if you just like unwrap them, you'll find heterochromatin like this, and then you'll find this euchromatin, as we have mentioned before. And then this euchromatin has the famous double helix, which we call the DNA, the deoxyribonucleic acid. When one cell divides into two cells, you know what happens? Yes, the DNA is being divided into two copies so that each cell of the new cell will have an equal amount of the DNA as the parent cell. Human cells are divided into somatic cells and germ cells. Most of the cells in your body are somatic cells. They have 46 chromosomes each. We call this diploid. Di means two. Two times 23 happens to be 46, at least where I grew up. But the germ cells have only 23 chromosomes. We call them haploid, just one, so 23. That's why we call those N, but those ones 2N, which means diploid. If you would like to determine the sex of the subject, here is what you do. Easy. Open your mouth, sweetheart, and you introduce a nice thin swab. You take a sample from the buccal mucosa and you send it to the lab. If you see 44XX, female, 44XY, male, thank you so much. Sometimes they do it by something called the bar body. What the flip is a bar body? Here is the rule. If you have two X, one of them will be active one of them will be inactive. The inactive is the bar body. How about if I'm a boy and I have only one X? Since you only have one X, it has to be active because X is essential for life. Therefore, you have no inactive X. Therefore, you do not have a bar body. So if you see a bar body, female. If you see no bar body, male. Thank you so much. The germ cells are different. They are either 22 plus X, which happens to be 23 in total, and this is the nice ovum, and the sperm is different here. Look at this, 22 plus Y, 22 plus X. When your parents were having fun, by the way, if they had sex three seconds earlier or three seconds later, you wouldn't be here right now watching YouTube, so at least be grateful. If this ovum combines with this sperm, 22 plus Y, this will be 44 plus X, Y, this is a male. That's me. 22 plus X. And if it combines with this ovum, you get 44 plus XX. That's a beautiful girl. Look at you. If you have been with me for a while, you know that when we take DNA template and we make it into RNA, this process is called transcription. When we take the same RNA and make it into proteins, this is called translation. Everything in your body, everything active in your body is 
protein. If it's active, it's protein. Take it to the bank. Enzymes are active, they are freaking proteins. Channels are active, they are freaking proteins. Receptors are active, they are dead gum proteins. Pumps are active, they are proteins. Now let's talk about the cell cycle, which happens to be today's topic. We divide the cell cycle into the interphase and the M phase. So here is the M phase, right here. Everything else is a freaking interface. The interface includes G0, G1, S, and G2. G stands for growth, S stands for synthesis, and M stands for mitosis. Cell cycle, G0, G1, S, G2, M. Thank you so much. M is divided into pro, meta, ana, telo. G1 is the growth, and this is preparing for the S. Let's talk about the G1. We start with cyclins. We stimulate them, and then they become cyclin D kinases. And then transcription, translation, we end up with proteins such as the enzymes. The cell grows in size, that's why we call it growth, increase energy and protein production, thank you so much, and increase organelle formation, that's why we call it growth. So this is the G1, thank you so much. What is the G0? The G0 is resting. If the cell is not dividing, the cell is resting in the zero phase. If the cell decides to divide, it will leave the G0 phase, enter into the G1 phase, S, G2, M. Thank you so much. I've replicated successfully. And now instead of having one cell, we have two cells. We are done with G0 and G1. Let's talk about S. S is for synthesis. What do you mean by synthesis? I mean DNA replication. What do you mean by DNA replication? Instead of having this single chromatid called chromosome, now we have double or sister chromatids, also known as chromosome. This is called chromosome, this is called chromosome. I mean, what else are you going to, to, to call it? It's still a chromosome. We are done with S. Thank you so much. Let's talk about G2. G2 is the same freaking thing. G2, you have the endonuclease. And this will help us with the mismatch repair. What does that mean? We repair the mismatch. No, duh. The cell increases in size and increase energy and protein production. Do not get confused. G2 is preparing for the ultimate phase, the M phase, the mitosis phase, which is subdivided into prophase, metaphase, anaphase, and telophase. I have a video on my channel called cell types. We've talked about three cell types, permanent, stable, and labile. Stable is the, the same thing as quiescent. What is a permanent cell? A permanent cell is a cell that just remains in G0. It's just permanent. It's not gonna divide, it's over. Like your neuron or nerve cell. It's like once you mature, your nerve cell do not divide. Yeah, your neuroglia or neuroglial cells divide, but they are supportive cells. They are not the actual freaking neurons. The neurons themselves do not divide, as far as we know. That was the permanent cell. How about the stable cell? The stable cell is quiescent. It's here in G0 most of the time, but sometimes it decides to divide. So it leaves the G0, jumps to the G1, S, G2, M. Thank you so much. Now we have two cells. Give me an example of a cell that's stable. The hepatocyte, the liver cell. Normally your liver does not divide, but let's say that a surgeon cut one fourth of your liver. Oh, now the lever, oh, danger, danger. We need to divide, guys, we need to divide. Leave the G0, jump into the G1, S, G2, M, and before you know it, your liver will be complete again. This one-fourth of your liver will have been regenerated. Okay, medicosis, how about the third type? The labile cell. The labile cell is freaking crazy. It's always dividing G1, S, G2, M. It barely stops at the G0. It's always dividing, always dividing. Give me an example. Your hair cell, yeah, like your hair, yeah, your hair follicle always regenerate. When you shave, you like cut your hair, you always get it back quickly. That's a freaking labile cell. Want another one? How about your bone marrow stem cells? They are always vomiting out red blood cells, white blood cells, and platelets in millions and thousands and ten thousands. We have talked about this before, so I'm not going to repeat myself. Cell cycle is G0, G1, S, G2, M. What happens in M? M for mitosis, so karyokinesis and cytokinesis. Now let me give you some nuggets of medicine. DNA replication takes place exclusively in the S phase. Yes, S for synthesis. 
Cancer is nothing but uncontrolled replication due to errors and or mutations. Chemotherapeutic agents are nothing but replication inhibitors. Also, some antibacterials and antivirals inhibit the replication of the bacteria and or the virus, respectively. I'm not concerned with theories. I'm actually more concerned with flesh and blood patients. So let's actually take it clinical. Let's talk about pharmacology, maybe chemotherapy. What is the objective? They are anti-cancer drugs. Okay. What's the mechanism of action? They inhibit the cell cycle. So they interfere with cell division. It's not going to happen. Therefore, rapidly dividing cells are the one most affected. I don't understand. Okay. Why do you think people who have cancer lose their hair? Most people say, oh, it's because of the cancer. Shut up. It's not because of the cancer. It's because of the chemotherapy. What do you mean? I mean, the chemotherapy is an anti-cancer drug. What do you mean? I mean, the, this like chemotherapeutic drug inhibits the cell cycle, interferes with cell division. So, I have good news and I have bad news. What are the good news? The cancer cells won't be able to divide and eventually they will die. Yahoo! Wonderful! But there are no solutions in life. There are only trade-offs, as Dr. Thomas Sowell said. The cons, your own cells won't be able to divide. Eventually, your cells will die. And the rapidly dividing cells of yours are the most affected. What are those rapidly dividing cells? Hair cells? GI cells. That's why with any chemotherapeutic agent, you probably are going to lose your hair and you'll get diarrhea because we are sloughing off the epithelium of your GI tract. This is medicine as it should be, not your fake biology professor. In the next video, we'll talk about checkpoints of the cell cycle. So please save this playlist called biology. Here is my website. You can go to my website to download these biology lectures until this lecture. They are free. They are PDFs. They are the slides that I use for this video. If you have any question, please send me an email. Please subscribe and join the tribe by clicking on the join button and hit the bell to get notified. Follow me on all of these platforms and also LinkedIn. And you can support this channel on Patreon. Thank you so, so much for watching. I'm honored. As always, be safe, stay happy, and study hard. This is Medicosis Perfectionalis, where medicine makes perfect sense.